Hi, it's Oborn1975, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I'm bringing you something a bit different. This is me drifting along with 0% hull, no FSD, and thrusters that are barely holding on. In the distance, there's a FDL chasing me. He won't catch me, but somebody else will be back soon to um, kill me. And because I was waiting for death, uh, I thought it was a good time to reflect on how I got to this point in the road. I never saw this coming. It's not something that you know, I ever thought would happen, but looking back, it's kind of inevitable the way it all fell together. So, as I've said, when I joined the Dark Marauders, I didn't have a combat ship in my arsenal. I had an old DBS scout ship, which I used for sometimes to help Dark, um, XO in combat situations. But basically, I was a glorified um, wing beacon, and I used to just drop and form wings so they could drop a load of Corvettes in or FDLs, you know. Uh, occasionally I'd fail, fire rail guns at people and you know once in a blue moon I'd try and fire torpedoes at someone but this was in the days before engineering and when I joined the Dark Marauders that ship hadn't come out of the garage for a long time because the stealth met had changed over the years and it had become not very viable um, and I was just a space trucker I joined the Dark Marauders I thought I had a you know free 24 hour pass I go into this in my you know video of my history and you know, I didn't know at the time I was going to be hunted down by IED just for being in the Dark Marauders. In fact, to start with, I wasn't. So I don't know what changed on IED's end. At the start with, I was just left alone as a space trucker. Um, it was only later that I started getting killed. Um, in fact, I mean, I didn't have a combat ship until I got in my Cobra, uh, which was a long time afterwards. I did do piracy, but that was about five, six months in. Um, you can go back and check through my videos. As I've said to someone in a recent comment, all of my history in Elite Dangerous is there for everyone to see. So what events led me to this point? How did I get here? Well, it all starts with a commander who, to save his blushes, I shall call Scousy McScouseface. Um, now, Scousy was a nice lad. He's, he was new to the game. He was very enthusiastic. And he joined the Dark Marauders, and we helped him trying to get his engineers unlocked and get some money. So we took him mining. He came up to the... Uh, low temperature diamond rings in a python it was mining with big aussie and some of the other dark marauders there was about five or six guys hanging out there some were pirating some were mining and lord garrix of ied dropped in and attacked the dark marauders that was there he saw an easy kill in a newbie python and took it and then he waked out you know a valid kill uh, by ied on a bad guy a member of dmps because he's a member of dmps he's automatically a bad guy um, you know, and then the same day uh, when Scousy McScouseface returned to the carrier, uh, there was Lord Garrix again camping it. Now I'm sure Lord Garrix was camping it to kill someone like Ozzy or Meta, you know, one of the more you know known people. But he wasn't going to say no, and he so he killed Scousy McScouseface again. Um, now because he'd killed this noob twice in very quick succession, there was a lot of the Dark Marauders that were upset. And I'm sure Pirate Orc, I know him so well, he would have taken a very conciliatory tone about this sort of behavior. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ass. Now, the timing for this was uh, insane because it happened the same time as we became the high cell for low temperature diamonds. And suddenly our systems were awash with pilots selling low temperature diamonds including some IED members and I did videos about um, Big Oz's rampage against IED over that weekend um, and the, the hashtag blame Garrix was born because uh, every time we killed a newbie or an IED member we would send them a message saying sorry it's not it's not you it's hashtag blame Garrix because we're getting revenge for Garrix killing Scousy McScouseface and um, that's where the hashtag blame Garrix originates from and that is why Garrix became my nemesis in game which has all been really fun with Garrix chasing around to try and kill me and me trying to get away uh, this has been one of the real fun highlights of the last sort of year or so I would say in game I'm not actually sure I have to go back and look at the videos but it's been a while it's been a good long while that you know Garrix has been after me properly and um, you know, I've enjoyed it. I think Garrix has as well. He's got his kill on me, um, which I know he was happy about. And so when we started killing IED noobs, the ones in our space, um, I'm sure Ragnar Scott, being the, 
calm, rational voice uh, behind the scenes for IED, gave some pull, some, you know, words of wisdom to calm the situation down. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. Now I will hold my hands up and say I am a sarcastic prick who makes uh, videos that I think are funny, but my sense of humor is sometimes found to be abrasive. And many members of IED found my content to be uh, shit stirring or some such. Um, in fact, a lot of them made comment that I was toxic and horrible and, you know, and stuff like that, which I didn't like, but, you know, that's their opinion. Um, I don't like unfounded accusations, like somebody saying that I'm hate filled when they can't find proof. It makes me go a bit mad. Now, I've never been one to make threats. I think that people who make threats are usually cowardly. I prefer to be judged by my actions and I tend to take action. Um, you know, so when IED's threats finally got too much for me, I took action. I joined a war against them and I'm sat here in open attacking their BGS, you know, because that's what people do. I'm sick of these people lying and spreading gossip about me. If you think I had a falling out with the Dark Marauders, please feel free to go and talk to Polo and Orc. They'll put you straight. Um, it's just crazy some of the stuff being said about me. Uh, but anyway, that's all for me talking. Enjoy me being defiant and not knowing when I'm dead in this next fight. Oh, shit, where are you? I'm going back to the like to re repair we are. So, um, you killed yeah. him? You got you? Nice. Oh, it was worth it.